what's up welcome back to my channel now we're moving into venus and gemini so if you don't know already we are all more than our sun sign we also have a moon sign a rising sign venus a mercury and a mars and there's also outer planets as well that don't really affect us as much as those signs do so if you're not familiar with your birth chart i will link it in the description box below um, it's a Venus sign calculator. You'll just have to put in your birth date and your birth time in order to know your Venus sign. But today specifically we are talking about Venus and Gemini and their love language and how they love. So Venus is named after the goddess of love and beauty. It's about value. It governs how we love. Um, it governs our relationship to money, aesthetics, luxury, all of that. That's what Venus is. Venus rules two zodiac signs and those two signs are Taurus and Libra. So now a little about Gemini's, like the sign itself. So Gemini is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is the planet of intellect and communication. Mercury also rules Virgo. Since Gemini's are ruled by the planet of communication and intellect, Gemini's are very intelligent, whether they even know it or not. They always just know things naturally. They're just very smart naturally. And they're actually the happiest when they're communicating with people or just learning new things. They make really good teachers as well. Um, there are a lot of teachers that are Gemini's that I know. But since this is an air sign, they get bored really fast. It's kind of hard to keep their attention because they get bored easily. They much rather talk to a lot of people at once. It's really easy for them to make friends because they adapt so well with other people. They can adapt easily to other people's vibes and energies. Like if you're more laid back, they could easily just be more laid back. Geminis do not like to be tied down. They can be flaky because they have a hard time making decisions. They are indecisive. Um, they're also impulsive too. If you know any Geminis, you probably know that they are, um, gossipy. <laughs> they like to gossip and they are nosy, but they love making their friends and family laugh. So I found some celebrities with this placement, Venus and Gemini. I didn't pick every celebrity, of course, but I just picked a few of them. So I'm just going to name the celebrities that have Venus and Gemini. Megan Fox. J-Lo. Koi Larey. Somebody to the party. Pull up in that mm mm. It's so mm mm. They ask how I get that ooh. Naomi Campbell. Jaden Smith. Larsa Pimpin. Vivica Fox. Marlon Wayans. Polly D. John F. Kennedy. So now that we got that out the way, now we're moving on to Venus and Gemini. What is their love language? What are their secrets? I'm here to tell you. I got you. So if you're watching this, you're probably interested in a Venus in Gemini, or you yourself could have a Venus in Gemini. People who have Venus in Gemini are such social butterflies. So that means in their relationships, they are social butterflies. They will love you, but I'm not gonna lie, they will feel more fulfilled if they can talk to multiple people at once and not just you. People who have Venus and Gemini are more attracted to someone's mind and personality rather than their looks. But don't get me wrong, they are superficial. Geminis are superficial, so looks can be a plus as well. Venus and Gemini people are super talkative. They're super curious. They just want to know... Um, what else there is to explore in the love department when it comes to relationships or friendships they want to know what else there is out there that's why they need someone who can stimulate their mind more than anything they need a partner who will listen to them or a partner that will also share information with them so they will go good with another air sign they like to go with the flow in relationships so they don't really like things that are formally planned out like dates that are just super planned out like candlelit dinner or something they are super adventurous while dating so they tend to enjoy the fun parts about relationships they enjoy the adventure they enjoy the excitement if a venus and gemini sense that you can't give them their freedom Oh, huh? they running. Mm -mm. Just like Venus in Aquarius, that will scare them away. They'll just feel like, wow. They're also the type that won't really text you um, 
every day. They'll probably check in with you, but if you're just like dating a Venus in Gemini, you guys aren't serious, they won't really talk to you that much, especially if they see that you're into them because they like their freedom. But they do enjoy conversation, so if you're having a good conversation, I'm sure they are going to stick around for the conversation. It depends on their other placements as well, of course. People with this placement will make sure that you know how much they know about certain information. Like they want you to know all the knowledge that they carry in their Gemini brain. And <laughs> it can be hard to get people with this placement to commit. Some may call them like a tease or something because they can flirt. They'll flirt with you all day, but will they commit? That's the million dollar question. But if a Venus and Gemini does commit, they feel like that that person is 100% right for them and they give them their freedom because people with this placement are known to be extreme cheaters. That's what it is. Listen, I'm only doing the truth on this channel. I'm doing truth astrology. So, you knew it was coming. That comes from them having so many other personal connections with other people. So it's like bound to happen sometimes because they get bored and they are very indecisive. So if you have your Venus in Gemini, you are bored in love sometimes, most times, all the time. They need that stimulating conversation in order to not cheat probably. But I'm 100% sure if you're dealing with the Venus in Gemini, you're not the only person that they're talking to. They could, they might not be like physically cheating, but they um they want to talk to a whole bunch of other people. They don't like feeling tied down. It's like really hard for them to commit. This is the placement to have multiple girl or guy best friends. In relationships, they love doing fun activities. They are so playful and they have a lot of energy most of the time, but they do change their mind often. So you might not always know where the two of you actually stand in the relationship. So if you're interested in a Venus in Gemini, just show them that you care about their brain power and knowledge. They will really appreciate that. Also give them space for other friends and activities outside of the relationship. So in conclusion, you have to be strong to date a Venus in Gemini. It does depend on their other placements in their chart as well, but for the most part, you have to be strong to date a Venus and Gemini. So Venus and Geminis are compatible with another Venus and Gemini. No other sign understands like the same sign. I'm, I'm going to keep saying that because it's true. So they'll both know how to give each other freedom. They'll both understand that they want to communicate. They'll be doing their own things, but they'll understand. That's the best match. Another Venus and Gemini. Also Venus and Aquarius. They love their freedom. They love their space. Venus and Libra just because that is another air sign but the two of them will both have a hard time making decisions because they are indecisive too. I think that Venus and Leo and Venus in Aries could go well too because fire and air I think they go well together. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and my next video will be Venus in Pisces. So stay tuned. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, bye.